Welcome back to another triangle strategy. Small fort surrenders their charge, Prince Roland, at Gustadolf's behest, sparing themselves from the Duchy's wrath. So that's pretty much what happened last episode. We decided to just sell off Roland. Also buying their reprieve, Lord Silvio bends the knee, declaring absolute devotion to their as frosty masters. Well, that was just made easy, but regardless, they bent the knee. Even if we chose to protect Roland, surrenders nothing. The last of the high houses to remain loyal to their fallen king. News of their countrymen's capitulation shocks Lord Landroy, leaving him with a grave choice to make. Fate in flames. I've brought the prince, your grace. Hmm. Gustadolf, you traitorous bastard! You'll pay for what you've done to my family! Mark my words! Ah! Easy there, Aflora. We need him alive, after all. I am sworn to do all in my power to keep you from harm, your grace. The boy is overcome with emotion, and who could blame him? Perhaps this will quell his rage a bit. Cordelia! Brother! Let him go! <sighs> Indulge her, Aflora. Oh, brother! Thank the heavens you're safe! They didn't hurt you, did they? I'm fine. I... I thought I'd never see you again. Let us speak after. Surely the Archduke will afford us that small mercy. Yes. Later, then. Prince Roland, you are well aware of the position Glenbrook finds itself in, yes? <laughs> Your kingdom is ours. House Tellior and House Wolfort have both bent the knee. Among the three high houses, only House Folks still proves recalcitrant. You mean for me to convince Lord Landroy to submit? Oh, nothing so tedious as that. I want you to order his death. I'm certain House Wolfort would be more than happy to oblige. You're mad! I won't be a mouthpiece to your cruelty! I know you've only just come into your responsibility, so allow me to offer a word of advice. A prince's first thought should ever be of his people. What are you saying? Landroy will not stand idly by for long. When he acts, and act he will, this land will once again be consumed by the fires of war. It is your duty as prince to quench that fire while it is yet kindling, lest you rule over a kingdom of corpses when all is done. <sighs> you see that I am right, your highness. Give the order. <clears throat> so basically to quickly quell the war, because Landry is going to fight for glory regardless, so... Having him ordered to die means that at least the soldiers and the domain will be fine. Or domain, not domain. Someone's high. Oh, 
or just consumed ecstasy. Phallus, enjoying yourself, are you? <gasps> I do wish you'd learn to temper your vices, brother. And I wish you'd learn to live a little, sister. Well then, what is it? We leave for the Falk's Domain at once. I thought those Wolfort dogs were to do the deed. Why must we go? You really must use your head more often. The one atop your shoulders, that is. When have you ever known a dog to be obedient without some good measure of discipline? Indeed. Very well then, dear sister. I shall be ready anon. That's it, we get a whole sub-episode of Thalas being dumb and acting like a dog after calling others dog. Or before calling others dog. Or I don't even know. To it seem the rumors were true, my lord. House Wolfort has delivered Prince Roland into Esfrost's clutches. And House Tellior. My lord, they too have... My lord, my good man, when you look at this painting, what do you feel? It is our home, as beautiful and verdant in reality as it is depicted by a master's brush. Indeed, it is a treasure, our land. It's safekeeping entrusted to us by his majesty, King Regna. May his soul rest in peace. An honor without equal. A duty worth fulfilling, at all and any cost. A duty I will not shirk from, now or ever. So we know Landry is going to go all out. He got big D. What? Invade the Falk's Domain? Such was the edict delivered to us by the Esfrosty Messenger. Ludicrous! They would have the High Houses turn on one another? We should be treating with House Falks, not stabbing them in the back! Doubtless the Archduke has little regard for honor between houses. He views the Falk's land as a fruit ripe for plucking. One which they would pluck for themselves. Or have us pluck for them, rather. The decree was signed in Prince Roland's own hand. Lies! His hand was forced! Indeed, by my brother. And if we disobey, the Archduke would have good reason to make an example of us. Gustadolf wins either way. We're trapped. And yet, no trap is infallible, my lord. There must be a way to avoid the civil war the Archduke is intent on causing. Aye, and I reckon Lord Landroy's of the same mind. He's the last man who wants to see countrymen slaughtering each other. Agreed, but we must tread carefully. If indeed it is the land itself that Gustadolf desires, perhaps an exchange can be arranged. An exchange of what? Territory? Just so. House Tellior negotiated similar terms. Far from ideal, to be certain, but preferable to the alternative. Whether Lord Landroy will be amenable to such terms, however, is another matter entirely. Still, it is our best chance. Let us treat with Lord Landroy. In the meantime, S. Frost must believe that we are playing along. Advance our forces to the Falk's Domain. Yes, my lord. Oh, 
Who is this guest? My lord, are you off to battle again? I, by the royal family's decree, and I have need of able-bodied men. Return victorious, my lord! Worry not. We shall. Why, if it isn't the young Lord Wolfort? Minister Patriot, I had not heard that you were paying a visit to our domain. Ah, Lord Wolfort, pray do not concern yourself on my account. My work here is all but done, and it is time I was on my way. I must commend you, my lord, for keeping order and harmony in your domain, despite the rather unfortunate recent events. Most admirable indeed. At the end of the day, our duty is to the throne, not to the man who sits in it. In times of uncertainty, we must value order above all else. I would encourage you to remember that. I can see the merit in that. Thank you for your wisdom. He did well, and I have no doubt many years of prosperity await you and yours under his frosty rule. By your leave, my lord. He makes a good point though but here we are at fox fox what news from house wolfort my lord the archduke has ordered them to march on our domain in prince roland's name a clever ploy if true no matter the outcome as Frost profits. However, House Wolford claims to have no intention of blindly following these orders. They seek to parley, that we might together find a way to prevent the fall of the three high houses. How will you respond, my lord? How indeed. The Wolfords handed over His Highness to save their own hides, hardly an act that warrants our trust. That said, their desire to avoid bloodshed is no doubt sincere, if only to buy time to lick their wounds. And somehow, I suspect there may be more to this stratagem of theirs. My lord, then you... I shall grant them audience. Pen the reply. At once, my lord. Okay, Landroy is also smart or full of wisdom. You can see through Benedict's plans. Prince Roland has passed his decree. The complete decimation of House Falks is the order of the day. A chilling command which would see one of Glenbrook's three high houses reduced to bloody rubble. Though penned in the prince's hand, the order was not his own. Forcing his hand was Archduke Gustadolf, a specter over his shoulders until the ink had dried. House Wolfort is given the command to uproot their erstwhile countrymen. And with heavy hearts, they march. However, the young Serenoa bears hope. Hope that bloodshed can be stopped. Hope that Lord Landroy can be convinced to see reason. Hope that the day is not far off when the realm will know peace again. Yeah, more highs and stuff. 
Oh, the Wolfforts have been ordered to bring down House Fox, you say? It would appear so. They entreat us for arms and provisions for the battle ahead. A request we will deny, of course. I leave it to you to concoct a convincing reason. Consider it done. I do believe this little conflict between countrymen will play to our benefit. No doubt Landroy will spare no effort as he makes his last stand. Our day draws near, Booker, and we must make every preparation for its arrival. And so it shall be. A lot of uh, wheat. Falklands truly are the jewel of Glenbrook. Are those wheat? I, I don't see Landroy giving them up easily, even if it comes to war. And that is why we will not simply give them up. We shall negotiate such that benefits may be reaped by all parties. Lord Landroy first among them. He is a reasonable man, yes? That he is, my lord. But we cannot hope to make him see reason if we cannot speak to him face to face. Okay, I guess we explore first before we talk to Guy. Should negotiations fail, we will find ourselves fighting on their terms. I must have a strategy at the ready. We hold the lifts over there, my lord. Specifically, they are employed by those who work the land, yet I believe they might also serve us in battle. Ooh, look at that, cool. Should it come to that, we should not hesitate to take advantage of the terrain. It might behoove us to survey the land before Lord Landroy arrives. But first, we gather treasure. We'll keep getting them. Fire amulet. Ooh, look at that. A convenient device indeed. What's the other house we could go into? the same house after all. Cupboard. 
they are wheat after all. Where's that letter? Anyways, might be here. Or maybe not. Anyways. This is the one that's not working. They grow their wheat in terraced fields, I see. And I suppose this lift is used for planting. Mayhap we can leverage this in battle. We have nothing to lose by learning how to operate it, especially if we cannot find common ground. What bountiful fields they have here. I wish not to tarnish this beautiful land in a fight. Oh, we are so gonna do that. This frosty value freedom more than anything. Unfortunately, all that means is powerful rise to the top and the weak are crushed under their iron boot. Leaders like Gustadolf don't know the meaning of peace. We sealed our fate the day his grace thought we could reason with them. Gustadolf stands atop a nation where only the strongest thrive. I suppose his invasion of Glenbrook was merely an extension of that. As Frost is watching our every move, we must be cautious, lest any harm come to Roland. Beautiful fields like these don't just sprout up overnight. It takes hard work. I can see why Lord Landroy's subjects are so loyal to him. I have no doubt it'd be well worth the journey. But you've got to convince Lord Landroy first if you want that hope to become a reality. Right, for the domain and its people. People poured their blood, sweat, and tears into these fields. I'd hate to see them reduced to ash. Oh, you're gonna see it. I am not without hope that he listened to the reason. But we have, must be prepared for all contingencies. If negotiations fail and battle with House Fox and Seuss, their archers would have the upper hand, raining down arrows upon us from above. First I lose Prince Roland, now must I turn my blade against my countrymen. And not just countrymen, but house folks, loyal retainers of the crown. I only hope we can resolve this with words alone. Indeed, no matter what happens, Esfrost is the victor. They have us in the palm of their hands now. I wish there was more than we could do. Lord Landroy will be wary of us after what we did to Prince Roland. Still, we have to do everything in our power to see that this does not come to blows. Okay, 
how do we fix this? Okay, when we gotta fix this other one now. Let's talk to the old man. Talk to him again. Okay, are you gonna fix that one? Maybe we should identify it from the bottom. Yep, it won't budge. Okay, time to fix it. The lift over there seems not to be working properly. Might you know why? That's odd. I swear it looked just fine earlier today. said that before Okay, let's check the rare shop. They got Swift Spice? Come on, where are my Swift Spices at? Nowhere. Okay, so I'm gonna buy Evasion Amulet for now. For Groma, then I'm gonna grind a bit, make sure you get all those superior stuff because that's rare. Lord Landroy should be arriving soon. Let us hope he is receptive to our terms. As frosty forces muster at the border, they're preparing to advance. As frost, what treachery is this? While we were preparing for the parley, they snuck up on us unawares. What shall we do, my lord? 
So the Wolfert dogs have already learned some tricks from their new master, eh? We await your command, my lord. Split our forces in two. Send one regiment to the border. I shall lead the other to meet House Wolfert in the field. Aye, my lord. That's how it ends up. Misunderstanding. Then King Regna's gift until the last of us falls. The history shall know that House Fox did not bend the knee.